All right, well, U.S. lawmakers are reportedly preparing a fresh set of sanctions against Iran, targeting its business transactions with other countries. This is on top of the latest round of restrictions imposed by Barack Obama just after he won re-election to the White House. The situation has also been strained by further claims that Iranian jets fired at an American drone, which was flying just off Iran's coast last week. With me now to discuss all this, Mohammed Morandi, a political analyst at the University of Tehran. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak uh, to us. Uh, I want to get to my top question, Thank which you. is what does it really mean politically that the very first decision that President Obama took upon returning to the White House was to slap more sanctions against Iran? Well, I think really it shows that uh, the United States is unprepared to think reasonably with regards to Iran. Uh, the fact that the United States has been imposing an embargo on the Iranian central bank and uh, business transactions in Iran basically means that the United States is trying to direct the Iranian economy, uh, trying to Im prevent Iran from importing or exporting any anything, and that includes m food and medicine. And uh, uh, in inside Iran, despite the fact that the Americans and the Europeans have not succeeded, uh, in, in the sense, in, to the degree that they want to, but I think it has caused a great deal of um, anger and hostility inside Iran, and Iranians see a more barbaric side of Western politics. And, and it's really quite sad that often sanctions are meant to have a political effect or really affecting the people on the ground who really can't defend themselves much. Now, uh, when we talk about Israel, there's been such a strong push uh, over the years from Israel uh, in terms of military action, uh, trying to convince the United States and Washington to go along. Uh, we haven't seen that take place. And yet, uh, what do you make of the symbolic influence, uh, the symbolic meaning of Obama, uh, again, slapping these sanctions on Iran is the first thing he does? Do you see this as sort of bowing, perhaps, to, to Israeli pressure? Well, the new sanctions won't have any extraordinary effect. They've already carried out uh, as many sanctions as they can, both the Americans and the Europeans. And uh, Iran continues uh, to move forward. The, the country continues to function. It has caused bomb. trouble in the country. There has been shortages of some medicine some medicines, and I think uh, some people have probably uh, died as a result. But in general, the Iranian uh, government is now overcoming those problems and are finding alternative routes to deal with imports and exports and medicine and food and so on. It does create problems, but I think that the, the Americans and Europeans really can't do much more. But the very fact that, them from the, as you pointed out, Obama, from the very beginning of his second administration, is, is making such a gesture shows that uh, the U.S. government is, really isn't sincere in trying to resolve the situation and that its policies with regards to Iran are, are quite irrational. And why is that? Why is that in your view? Well, I think, it's, I think it really has to do with the revolution itself. The United States, uh, basically, w Iran was a client regime for the United States, like Saudi Arabia today. Uh, but ever since the revolution and Iranian independence, I think the, the Americans really have never come to the point of recognizing Iran as an independent state outside American sphere of influence. And uh, the fact that, for example, the United States now sends a drone over Iran and the Iranians immediately respond, and, we, we, and this itself shows uh, Iran's uh, radar capabilities and its rapid response. Uh, but the fact that the Iranians respond so swiftly, I think it's something that angers the Americans. They, they're used to having their own way and being able to intimidate other countries and Iran, uh, but uh, the fact that the Iranians aren't intimidated, they take an independent foreign policy, they support the Palestinians as opposed to the Israeli uh, regime, which the Iranians see as an apartheid regime, mm -hmm. is really completely unacceptable to the United States. And I think that the Americans fear that other countries in the region will sort of try to um, become more independent of the United States and Europe like Iran. Interesting views there. Thank you so much. That was political analyst Mohammed Mirandi. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you for having me.